So we are in a new week, just slightly over 10 weeks out. So today's Tuesday, Monday I did strength, no running. And then today, I'm still in my warm up right now, doing a little bit longer warm up and then going to do, we're gonna walk while I talk to you. Then going to do a short little burst that is like uphill, up tempo. So finding a hill that's not super steep, but steep enough and I can run up it pretty hard for 20 seconds. So I'll do repeats of that and then I'll do a cool down. And then I have big hills tomorrow. So bigger hill repeats, a little more challenging, longer. Um, and then we'll rock climb tomorrow, yoga. So I realized too, last time I updated y'all, I didn't really update you on anything but the running. So I don't want you to think that I'm not doing this other stuff. So my strength training has changed, obviously, because my mileage is cranking up. So I did class on Monday at Sweat, which is a full body, um, about a 50 minute workout. And then I will do a shorter workout Thursday, Friday. I've been trying to get in at least three days of strength work. Those other days though are short. They're like 30 minute workouts. So it's very different than my typical strength work, but you have to prioritize where you're at, right? So my focus right now is my running and my mileage. So the strength work, I have to fit it in as it fits with what I'm doing. So we're doing a little shorter burst of strength work and I'm throwing stuff in also um, like on my runs a lot of times. I have a playground I run by and during my runs a lot of times I'll stop and do pull-ups. So I'll do like 10 pull-ups on the way out, 10 pull-ups halfway through the run, 10 more pull-ups at the end. So I'm getting in that kind of stuff as I'm out there. And then yoga, I'm doing the one hour once a week and then the other days of the week I'm probably getting in three more days of like 15 minutes of yoga. So it doesn't even have to be super long, but I'm still getting that in because it's super important. So those are the things I'm adding on the days other than when I'm running. Sometimes it's in addition to the running. Still rock climbing once a week. I get massage, a deep, deep tissue massage once a month. So that's something I do during training and I've decided I'm gonna continue after this race is over as well because I find it to be extremely beneficial if you can find a good massage therapist that knows runners well, which mine does. She's an awesome runner herself. So she has a great knowledge of the body and the kind of torture we put it through with the mileage. So find someone good that you trust and let them help you stay strong and injury free. So I'm gonna finish my warm up and get this workout done. Happy Friday. I know it's May and I'm in my Christmas sunglasses, but I don't care because they're fun. So I am out for an easy, about five miles today. And then tomorrow, Saturday, my long run is gonna be about 15 miles on the trail. And hopefully getting some good, good elevation in, but nothing crazy. And then Sunday, I have got um, six to 10 on my schedule. I'm helping with the, our local Cotton Row 10K is coming up Memorial Day. So Sunday we have a training run for that or a practice run. So six of that will be on that course on the road. And then it's real close to the trails actually. So I'm gonna pop over and do four on the trails as well. And that will wrap up my week. I did strength today that included pull-ups and all that good stuff. Cause you know, I love those. And I will do my leg stuff tomorrow after my 15 miles, you know, where I do my step ups and lunges, always do those. So some yoga. And that'll be it for this week. It'll be a good mileage week. Saturday morning and got 15 miles of trail on the agenda. So we're just going to do the front half of the Mountain Mist 50k course and it's actually kind of decent this morning, kind of nice. So looking forward to a good run.
different scenery this morning for me. So yesterday was 15 on the trails. So today I'm running downtown and we've got a practice run. My eyes are watering like crazy. We've got a practice run for the Cotton Row 10K. So I got here early to get a few in and I'll end up with 10 today. And that will wrap up my week. And then start fresh tomorrow. Next week is a pretty high mileage week. So we're just building, building. Actually feeling pretty good. Had two iron infusions. So hopefully those are gonna do me some good. Today's Monday, I started out with a workout at Sweat, which I love to do when I have the opportunity. And then I'm gonna go run over the mountain. Or should we call it a mountain? Some of you who live in real mountains probably wouldn't call it that, but we do. So I'm gonna run over the mountain and back, um, get some good elevation. And then I am looking very forward to a rest day tomorrow. I kinda had to shift things around. I have a crazy schedule. And so we're gonna go do this now and enjoy it. runners and cyclists who use this road for recreational purposes would sure appreciate you not driving 70. It is terrifying. And one day you're going to come around a curve and there's going to be a bike there or a person in the shoulder running and you're going to be a little too far over because you're going so fast. It's going to be really bad for everybody. So that's my PSA while I'm out running today. <laughs> okay, so made it overseas slash running back. And if you live in Huntsville, you might know where I'm at right now. So I decided to add on Donegal, which is on the Jones Valley side of Cecil. And if you've ever done it, it's straight up. I needed a little more climb and I needed about eight miles. So I should end up right at eight miles after adding this. And obviously I am power hiking this, <laughs> but I'm gonna try to run all the way down back to the, to the gym. Legs are tired. I can tell that I had a higher mileage several days in a row. So I'm very thankful for that rest day tomorrow. And you can probably tell it is super windy today. You could really feel it at the top of Cecil. Anyway, getting ready to turn around and go all the way back down. Today's Wednesday, which means it's hill repeat day. So I'm headed to my favorite hill to do that. And I've stopped to do some pull-ups. So that's one of the ways I've been getting in my strength work is sometimes I don't have time to get full workouts in. And today was more about the run. So I stop on my way out and I'll do a set of 10. And then on the way back, I'll do a set of 10. And then when I get home, I'll do another set of 10. So I'll get three sets of 10 in and it's a good way to practice. So let's have some fun.
Okay, so I'm finishing up my warm up. My favorite place to do hills. I'm gonna start out with three power hikes that are three minutes long. And then I shift over to running hill repeats that are a little um, shorter than, well, one of them is three minutes, but a little shorter. And then I'll shift back to the steeper incline for some short speed bursts uphill. And then I get to run all the way back for my cool down and do, of course, 10 more pull-ups on the way. Um, I actually really like hill repeats. I know it's sick, but I would rather do hills over speed any day. So let's go get some strong legs. Saturday morning at 5.20 a.m. So we're doing our long run early this morning. Um, everybody's got stuff going on. I've got my parents in town and I try to not take away, you know, the entire day when I've got company here with running. So, you know, it means I go to bed a little earlier and have to get up and leave and not there for breakfast, but my husband takes care of all of that, thankfully. So, we got, um, have 16 to 20 miles on my schedule today, and we are going to be doing some repeats of a couple of big climbs going back and forth, so um, it'll probably be closer to the lower end, I'm sure, closer to that 16 with the time that we have available this morning, so, um, which is fine. I went ahead and kind of banked a couple of extra miles during the week so that I could get the shorter end uh, for this weekend. So my coach usually gives me a range of mileage when I do my runs. And so that makes it kind of nice for me to be able to play with things depending on how my schedule falls. And I knew that I would have my company this weekend and I knew that I would want it to be on the shorter end so that I could get back home to them. So yeah, I just did like I had a eight to 10 on Thursday on the trail, so I did 10. I had a six to eight earlier in the week and I did eight. So it's just, you know, you gotta work around your life. And I don't like for my running to consume everything that I'm doing. It's one of the reasons that I only do one really big race a year. I know a lot of people do a lot more than that, but they'll do multiple hundreds in a year, things like that. I, I just have never found that to be conducive with my lifestyle and being able to spend time with family and work and all that kind of stuff. So I am one of these a year is more than enough for me. So we're going to get started here soon and 